normocytic anemia it occurs when mcv is 80 or 100 femtoliter the main causes of normocytic anemia can be rbcs if they are lost or if less rbcs are produced right here to find its diagnosis or to like diagnose it you have to look at the complete blood count and look at the wbcs if the wbcs are greater or like they are normal rbcs then you have to check the retex retex is the reticulocyte count now upon checking the reticulocyte count if the reticulocyte count is low or inappropriately low it can be due to a number of causes such as early iron deficiency if you don't get enough iron in your body or if enough iron is lost from your body due to various reasons it can lead to early iron deficiency and which can lead to low reticulocytes and the normocytic anemia cause another cause is low erythropoietin production this can be due to renal failure or renal destruction of the cells that produce erythropoietin it can also be due to the malignancy for example multiple myeloma in which many different kind of layer other cells are produced and which can lower the reticulocyte count of the normal retex that can be produced by the bone marrow it can also occur due to pregnancy in pregnancy rbc dilution occur in which uh, the normal plasma has very less or like comparably less rbcs as compared to the plasma level of the body of the woman who's pregnant this can also lead to low reticulocyte count here which can lead to normocytic anemia or it can actually show as a normocytic anemia cause if the reticulocyte count is high upon seeing the blood smear it means that the bone marrow is fine there is no issue with the bone marrow and other causes exist for example we have to check upon the rbc shape if the rbc shape is normal it means that the normocytic anemia is caused due to acute bleeding or either hemolysis acute bleeding can be due to any trauma any accident etc while hemolysis can be due to an autoimmune disease or something like that that causes the hemolysis of the rbcs if the rbcs are in a shape of spherocytes or schistocytes like for example like they're globular it can be due to autoimmune or hereditary spherocytosis in which the rbcs have a ball like shape they are very weak do not have the sustained tensile strength which the normal rbcs have and it can lead to the blacking or as we like to call it hemolysis it can also occur due to microangiopathic hemolytic anemia in this anemia the rbcs are cleaved and form a round shape like that of the spirocytes this is also a cause for normocytic anemia the other thing if the rbcs are having sickle shape target cells or whole jolly bodies this can be due to hemoglobinopathies such as hbs hbe or hbc pay heed that hbe can also be in microcytic anemia if you check the blood count and it has shows like little rbcs or low rbcs then you have to check out the reticulocyte count and see if it is high or low in case it is low retex or like normal then the causes are due to the bone marrow which can be resulted due to marrow aplasia or suppression etc suppression can be due to any drugs that you are taking or aplasia can be like due to benzenes anthracene nuclei or like uv light exposure anything like that which can damage your bone marrow cells it can result in pancytopenia and the other thing which results in a low retic in a normocytic anemia is b12 or folate deficiency this can be occurred due to like pernicious anemia where the body cannot absorb folate or b12 these are all necessary for the normal production of the retex or the rbcs therefore any deficiency of this leads to low retex and which can be a cause for normocytic anemia or an indicator for normocytic anemia 
if the latex are high it means that the bone marrow is fine there is no issue with the bone marrow there's no aplasia no suppression or no anything like that and we have to look at the causes of high retex if the retex is high it means that the normocytic anemia is mostly or mainly caused by splenomegaly in case of splenomegaly extra medullary hemo hemopoiesis occurs which can lead to high retex count if you check the blood count and it has shows like little rbcs or low rbcs then you have to check out the reticulocyte count and see if it is high or low in case it is low retex or like normal then the causes are due to the bone marrow which can be resulted due to marrow aplasia or suppression etc suppression can be due to any drugs that you are taking or aplasia can be like due to benzenes, anthracene nuclei or like UV light exposure, anything like that which can damage your bone marrow cells. It can result in pancytopenia and the other thing which results in a low retic in an homocytic anemia is B12 or folate deficiency. This can be occurred due to like pernicious anemia where the body cannot absorb folate or b12 these are all necessary for the normal production of the retics or the rbcs therefore any deficiency of this leads to low retics and which can be a cause for normocytic anemia or an indicator for normocytic anemia if the latex are high it means that the bone marrow is fine there is no issue with the bone marrow there's no aplasia no suppression or no anything like that and we have to look at the causes of high retics if the retics is high, it means that the normocytic anemia is mostly or mainly caused by splenomegaly. In case of splenomegaly, extra medullary hemo hemopoiesis occurs, which can lead to high retex count. That's all for normocytic anemia, guys. If you have any queries, make sure to mention it in the comment below and it will be answered. Stay tuned for next episode where we will discuss microcytic anemia. If you have found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe, like and hit the bell icon for further videos. Until next time.